Alrighty, my name is SimK, and welcome back to Batman and the Telltale series. Um, and last episode, I teased you guys, and we did the kind of stuff, and we visited Harvey Dent, and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, um, I'm actually deafening myself, but because my microphone's like reflecting back my uh, vo voice at me, it's really not. But it's it's such close proximity that it does sound like it's doing that. Um, Anyway. We gotta hurry. Batman's on his way. Relax. We'll be ready for him. Relax. Listen, I don't want any trouble. You're too late, Dent. Dent's in real trouble. Damn. E? Okay. Uh, let's... You think I'm scared of you? Should be. Should be scared. Tell me where your leader is. What are you planning? That all depends on you, Batman. Threaten him. Don't make me hurt you. Start talking, and I'll hand you over to the police in one piece. Go ahead. There's nothing the cops can do that we won't know about. Including every time Gordon uses you as his errand boy. Ugh. Everyone all right? Get the hell away from us. I'm the mayor now, and things are gonna change around here. Starting with people like you. This city is a battleground, and Gotham does not need you taking matters into your own you'll hands. You'll be a good mayor. You make these freaks think it's okay. I know you'll be a good mayor for Gotham. Yeah, well, no thanks to you. You left me for dead once before. You showed me where you stood back in the debate. Hey, hey, come, come, come on, let's go. I'll call us a cab. This is my city now, not yours. Heads up, they got three black and whites headed for the handoff. Gordon's with them. Alfred. Are you all right? Yeah, but they knew I was coming. They seem to be getting info on the GCPD's whereabouts. Not sure how. I need an update on the construction site. Bringing it up now. Stay down! We're coming to you! Everybody take cover! You'd better get down there. On my way. He shouldn't have even been here, Lieutenant. I did this! Shouting about it isn't gonna do him any good. Sure could've used your help ten minutes ago. Nice work. Just stroll in to survey the damage. Can't be it. That's I saved the mayor. I was out there saving the mayor's life. I, I didn't know. Tell me what happened. They got away. Took one of our guys with them. Go ahead. Say it. This is my fault. <laughs> I followed them. I got ambushed. And now one of our own is stuck with those monsters. You had good intentions. <laughs> you were trying to track down their drug shipment. Sure, things got messy, but that's not your fault. Your intentions were good. I got the force involved. Cost other people their lives. I'm Still got good happen. intentions. I mean, Stop. let's be real here. You didn't... <sighs> I'll make this right. I promise. We got our asses handed to us. They knew you were coming. How? We've been using a secure channel. You saying we got a leak? Yes. Gordon to command. Anyone there? Command. Gordon to 
man here. What is it, Gordon? Turn that off. What? It's been compromised. I'm gonna look into this. I'll let you know what I find. Is anybody else think it's funny that uh, Bruce's car drives itself? GCPD's been compromised. The children of Arkham were listening the whole time. How? That's what I'm going to find out. Alfred, I'm sending over evidence of some kind of encrypted communication signal. It's coming up on my screen now, but I'm afraid it looks like a bunch of gibberish to me. I need to go to Wayne Tower and look into this. Get me Lucius on the line. Yes, right away. If the public finds out the police aren't able to communicate... <sighs> they want us to panic. It'll cause a panic. Just what the children of Arkham want. Mass chaos. That seems to be how the Penguin does business. I have Lucius on the line now. Bruce, are you there? I'm looking at this data Alfred sent me. It's messy. I have to know what the children of Arkham are doing. How fast can you decrypt? That's a tough one. But I should have it cracked soon if you can meet me at Wayne Tower. Already on my way. I wonder how many road laws Bruce breaks whenever he's driving around as Batman. <laughs> Almost there, Lucius. I'll meet you down in the lab. Some aspects of the children of Arkham surveillance are worrying. Great. Bruce. Hi. Chairwoman. I didn't think you'd be here. I was, uh... I used to look to Thomas for guidance in hard times. Must seem silly. After everything that's happened. You know what they say about old habits. Just unexpected. To what do I owe the pleasure, Regina? I'm sorry, I just needed to clear my head. Sort things out. In my office? I know it's irregular, but it's nice to have a reminder of the Waynes every once in a while, in all their glory. Hmm. I've been called in for an emergency board meeting. I wasn't told about it. You weren't invited, Bruce. You are the topic of discussion for the board. They want to decide what your future at this company will be. Whether to dismiss you or not. You have to understand, Bruce. This company done nothing is bigger wrong. than any one individual. We have to keep face. And after this scandal... What my father... I'm not him, Regina. I would never compromise the lives of innocents for my own benefit. I know that, Bruce. But you have to understand that what the public wants to hear isn't always what we want to hear. The whole city is watching to see what our next move is going to be. Bruce, I've got something. You need to get down here. Now. I worked with your parents for years, and neither of them gave any indication of foul play. How could you have ever known? Bruce. You're nothing like him, Bruce. We always build up the people closest to us. It's nice they you. fall. I appreciate the sentiment, Regina. Thank you. I mean what I said before. Families like ours need to flock together. Perhaps now more than ever. I should head down. I don't want them to make a decision without me. I'll come find you after. I'll be right down, Lucius. What's up the music? Boo. 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 Boo.
<clears throat> it's good to hear she's still in your corner. <laughs> Spying on my conversations again? Hey, I'm looking out for you. There have been whispers that the board was going to take action against you. If you lose the company, Batman will take a massive hit too. I know the cave is well equipped. They won't get in my way. All of this is owned and paid for by the company. It doesn't matter what the board does. We'll be fine. I'm not going to let anything get in the way of what we're doing down here. Try saying that when you can't access this wing anymore. Right now, finding out how the children of Arkham are spying on the police is more important. What have you got? It's Wayne Tech, Bruce. As you know, Wayne Enterprises mm. is a telecommunications giant. Yeah. If someone were to, say, uh, build a back door into that tech... You're telling me the children of Arkham hacked into this system? So that's the thing. Do you want the good news or the bad news? Uh, you're not gonna like it. Good news? Bad news, rip the bandaid off. There's a shortage of bad news lately. Might as well just pile more on. Well, you see this back door they're using. I built it. You? What are you talking about? When your mission as Batman started, you needed a way to monitor the city. Oh, shit. Well, this is how. I piggyback Batman's surveillance onto Wayne Enterprise's signal. If the children of Arkham have access to the same system, does that mean they know my identity? It looks like they've only accessed the GCPD so far. Not a lot of activity otherwise. I'll have Alfred warn Gordon. The GCPD needs to get rid of their Wayne Tech devices. Smart move. Tell Gordon to break his comm. They packed their attack. I've encrypted our access. I can fortify it, but it's going to take longer to force them out of the system. The question remains, how did the children of Arkham find out about the back door in the first place? They shouldn't have been able to find it. Not unless they knew what Hell. they were looking for. Hell, like my computers. Broke in, certainly knew how to cover their tracks. When the cops raided the manor, they seized every computer belonging to Wayne Enterprises. Mayor Hill must have given them to the children of Arkham. Trying to save himself, I'm sure. I'm gonna keep working on this Children of Arkham business. See if there's a way to shut down their access entirely. We'd better lock this stuff down, just in case. Check for upgrades and then hide your back tech. Thermal vision. You've been busy, haven't you, Lucius? A new sticky bomb I developed. The signal is activated on the other side. Attach it wherever you need, then detonate it remotely with your gauntlet. Boom. Nice. Be careful. Those things pack a serious punch. I always wonder why you had a table that could hide itself. Guess it's coming in pretty handy now. Trust me, it was much more paranoia than precaution. Ooh, what's this? Uh, something I'm still working on. Some new armament to assist you in the field. There's only so much you can do on your own. But it's not really ready yet. Get your po- Ugh. I'm gonna get some Chipotle after I'm this. I'm sure I'll ever get the first <laughs> one back from Selena. <laughs> Wonder if that's the only thing she stole. Good point. Oh, that's Selena. Tiffany's really taking after you. And Luke, stubborn as always. I think of what Gotham has become. And I think of them. 
They give me all the reason I need to work with Batman. He's the only one that will truly protect them. And he will, Lucius. Always. So, anything new? This is gonna take some time. Don't worry. I'll let you know when I find something. Didn't he say I had to hide my stuff? Or do I keep examining stuff? I'm confused. Looks like another invaluable piece of Lucius Fox technology. <laughs> Hide gadgets. <sighs> Looks like Regina's headed to my office. I should go. Uh, before you do. Here. Get that back to the bat computer. It'll install the added security measures. You'll also have all the info I found on the Children of Arkham's activity within the system. Thanks, Lucius. I've always got your back, Batman. Now get out of here. Regina doesn't like to be kept waiting. Maybe you left. Yeah, right. Well, the board has voted. And have they sent the chairwoman to wield the axe? You're being asked to step down from your position as CEO. Of course. Effective immediately. At least until this whole mess gets cleaned up. I get it. My name isn't great for business lately. I'm sorry, Bruce. It's not your fault. I asked to slow all this down, but... They didn't want to. The press release is going out as we speak. There will be a public event in the morning where you will formally announce your resignation. I'm sorry, Bruce. I tried to fight for you. The board believes this is the only logical course of action. Thank you for trying. I really appreciate you trying, Regina. Thanks. Don't mention it. Our stock is tanking. The board is losing confidence. Wayne Enterprises needs a new face. They already had a candidate in mind. I thought it was... <clears throat> I was outvoted. Remember, he'd only be interim CEO. Just until this mess gets cleared up. And who would that be? Oh, no. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Bruce, old boy. Good to see you again. What a chilly greeting. As you know, Oswald's parents were, well, victims of your father's actions. This company was yeah, and guess who the Penguin land is. stole from the Cobblepot family. Well, the board thought having me step in would be a good PR move. What better way to show Gotham that Wayne Enterprises is committed to righting the wrongs of the past? Happy to help any way I can. People aren't much behind the Wayne name now. By your revolution. And considering that your parents stole from mine. I hear you've been keeping yourself pretty busy, Oswald. You sure you can handle this? I mean, wasn't there a revolution that you had to handle? I'm a brilliant multitasker. The board has complete confidence in Mr. Cobblepot. As his resume goes into great detail, his endeavors in England have been quite successful. Besides, the company basically runs itself at this point. The CEO is mostly a figurehead. Don't make this harder than it has to be. Well, then I guess congratulations are in order. 
It's nice to know you'll be the one trapped in this tiny office all day. Oh, I'm sure it's bigger than it looks. I'm afraid we need you to leave the building immediately. We'll have your personal effects sent to you. Congratulations, Bruce. I couldn't be prouder of you. Alfred. Oh, how sweet. Graduation present. Surely we could let him take this along. Jackass. Oh, Bruce. Clumsy, clumsy. No wonder you're not being trusted with nice things anymore. I'll call someone in to clean that up. Mm. It'll only take a minute. Though Bruce and I can handle it. I want to punch no him. Trouble. Right, Bruce. Pick it up. Now. But, uh, it's all right. Bruce has been through enough today, hasn't he? Oh. Looks broken, I'm afraid. Not a good sign, is it? Time to go, Bruce. Yes, Bruce. Time to go. I have a little redecorating to do. Your taste is a little too discreet for me. Go to hell. Go to hell, Oswald. When I get there, I'll say hello to your parents. This way, Bruce. I'll have IT come set you up. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Regina. Alright, so I'm in that episode there, so I want to thank you everybody so much for watching. As usual, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. Check out some awesome content I create, including annotations that have the end of this video. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye!